now we're out in the field with the Super Saver, and we're ready to go through some installations and different configurations that you can put it into. So we're gonna start, I already got my throw line up in the tree, and I got my line isolated, which means both parts of line are coming back down to me with no interference in between them. So we're gonna start with setting the Super Saver like a standard friction saver, and we'll look at some of the advantages that are there right off the bat. We reconfigured the hardware as to most adjustable friction savers on the market. It made it so that you can hang on to the Super Saver while installing it into the tree, guaranteeing that you won't have a hang up upon installation. So let's go through how to do that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay my Super Saver out on the ground. I'm gonna take one side of my throw line and pass it through the large hole on the hardware here. Then I'm gonna pull that throw line all the way through that hardware until the bag on the other side is just getting off the ground. I'm gonna to come to the side, got the throw balls on. I'm gonna take my throw ball off of the throw line pass the throw line through the small ring, and then reinstall the throw bag. So this is the standard procedure for setting a friction saver, except we get an added bonus. Because of the way that we configured the hardware, we're able to take the small ring and put a retrieval line or a throw line onto the small ring in the rear of the Super Saver. And I can kind of just let this line hang here in two parts so that as I'm installing the Super Saver, I don't have a chance of it hanging up or being stuck in the union. And if it does, I'll have the throw line in two parts so that I can manipulate it back down to the ground. Okay, so let's go ahead and set it. So here I go, I'm pulling up through the big ring side. And you can see here, I have my throw line in two parts. So that if I decide I wanna keep it, I could do that. I could tie it off to the trunk of the tree or I can easily remove it and reinstall it later on when it's time to retrieve. So right here, I stop at the union. I'm gonna pull hard and then let go. Now, I have both parts aligned down to me and I still have a retrieval line. So if something was to happen where it hung up upon installation, I could simply pull down on the retrieval line and uninstall the Super Saver the same way that it went up. Okay, so now let's set our rope. I'm gonna to go to the throw ball that came down to me from the Super Saver, and I'm gonna install my climbing line through the splice die and onto my throw line. And then I'm just gonna simply pull my climbing line up And now I'm ready to climb. So if I was climbing in a double rope system, I would tie my climbing system on now and I'd go right to work. So now I'm all set. 
to tie in my climbing system and go to work double rope. Okay, so this is our first setup. We're gonna move on from here now. We're gonna to start to talk about single rope application and how to set the super, sa super saver up with just one line out of the installation that we just did. So let's say I decide I wanna climb single rope. After I get my spliced eye back down to me or just the terminal end of my climbing line, I'm gonna pull down and put some of this in the drop zone while I perform the next task I have to do which is to tie my stopper knot that's going to rest itself against the super saver and enable me to climb on this side of the rope. The recommended stopper knot for the super saver is a figure eight on a bite. Backed up with a carabiner through the loop and clipped onto the retrieval leg for redundancy. Then all I have to do is pull my stopper knot up to the super saver, and I'm ready to climb. I want to make sure that my stopper knot is not on the red prussic side of the super saver. If I've done that, it's installed incorrectly. Now, if this retrieval leg is in your way, you can simply tie it off somewhere, but one advantage to the Super Saver is that we can set this configuration in the air and have it so that we don't have to have a retrieval leg until we deem it necessary. The climber has a spliced eye in their line. We've also rated the Super Saver with what we call the Quick Chock, which is the spliced eye passed through the small ring and captured with an ANSI rated 3,600 pound gate carabiner pinned against the hardware one of the fastest ways to get in and out of the Super Saver. So now I'm done with my climb and it's time to retrieve the Super Saver. So my first step is I'm gonna come to my spliced eye or my terminal end that I was climbing on and I'm gonna install the retrieval key on the rope. I'm then gonna come to my retrieval side and pull down, untie my stop or not, continue to pull that until the key goes through the big ring and hits the small ring. Now because I left my throw line in two parts earlier, I now have two pieces of rope to freely manipulate the super saver out upon a hang up and be able to work it back down to me and uninstall all my gear.